Okay, guys and girls, let's take a look at the Red Man Spinnerbait, and let me tell you why, why this is exactly the very best bait that's ever been built, the very best spinnerbait that's ever been bait, built for catching fish. Now, I'm not saying that's got the highest quality components in it. I'm not saying it's the flashiest or the, even the prettiest spinnerbait out there, but it will catch bass better than any, spa any spinnerbait you've ever thrown, I promise you, I promise you it will. And I'm gonna show you exactly why. We're gonna run through this, and at the end of this video, I wanna read for you what I've got written on the back of this package. Because the back of this package will, if you've never thrown a spinnerbait in your life, you just read the back of this package and go out there and fish it, just like it says right here, and you're gonna have as the thrill of a lifetime. You're gonna have the thrill of a lifetime. Let's just pull this thing out of here. This is one of my favorite colors right here. The Red Man Spinnerbait, I think, comes in eight different colors. I've got about four or five or six of them. It looks like I may have about five colors laying out here. It comes with three color blades. It comes with a silver blade, gold blade, and also, a copper blade. You can't hardly find copper blades in the marketplace anywhere now. We're putting copper blades on our bait. So you can find copper blades. You can move these baits or move these blades around if you if you get some that's got a copper blade, you want to put it on a different color bait, you can. These are beautiful little baits and they're just absolutely fantastic. Every one of them will have some red on them. They'll have red eyes. They'll have red eyes, exactly. Now, this is what you call a safety pin spinner bait. When we were kids, the way we built spinner baits is we just bought safety pins, a big safety pin. This would be the sharp end. This end down here would have the head on it that you snapped it down into when you pin something with a safety pin. We would take and bend this top end up and, and put a little crick in it there. We'd put a swivel, a split ring, and a blade on it, and that was the top of it. This round part was already in there. That was in the safety pin already. We would take the back part and we would cut off the insert where you insert your safety pin to, to clip it, we'd cut that off and, and put a hook on there, put it in a mold and mold a head of some sort. And I come up with this little head right here is the very best head for catching fish. This is a 3 8 ounce spinnerbait, a 3 8 ounce spinnerbait, but if you weigh, it's a 3 8 ounce head. If you weigh the entire spinnerbait, it'll weigh about a half ounce, give or take. It'll weigh about a half ounce. It's been years since I've weighed one of them, but that's about what they weigh, is about a half ounce. And uh, this spinnerbait, you can catch 100 fish on this spinnerbait and it's not gonna break. Now let me tell you some reasons why this spinnerbait will outcatch any other spinnerbait. Now it's not nearly as pretty as a silicone, but this is one of the tricky deals down here that allows it to catch more fish. This is live action rubber living rubber skirts, real rubber, not silicone, real rubber. You'll notice the colors are not nearly as bright. The silicone is a lot brighter, richer colors, and they shine a lot more. This doesn't. That dull color actually helps you because it blends in with your water good, and that duller color helps catch fish. But it's not really the color that we're looking for with this living rubber. What we're looking for is action. When you pull this through the water, if you'll look and concentrate on the tail of this red man spinnerbait, you'll see those little tails just doing that right there. They're just dancing, 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 dancing around. They are tapered tails, meaning they're not square. They come down and they taper here at the end. You see this little taper right here? They taper down at the end. These are 40 tail skirts. Those are 40 tails there. After you catch about 30 or 40 bass on that, you're gonna probably be down to eight or 10 tails. You wanna put a new skirt on there. I'm hoping that I can get Lucky Strike to sell the skirts individually in a package. That way you can get uh, several different colors and change them around easily. I'm hoping I get them to send, sell the blade assemblies also. Sell these blade assemblies separate where you can change and put the gold blades on or nickel blades or something else. I'm gonna give you a little tip at the end of this how to make this blade actually a little bit better than what comes on the bait. I'll talk about that at the end of this video. But anyway, the, the skirt's a very big part of it. When you pull this thing through the water, I want you to look at that skirt and see how those tails are dancing around. You're not gonna believe it. You will not see silicone doing that. You will not see silicone. Now, there is a disadvantage, and I'm gonna explain the disadvantages of a red man spinnerbait while I explain the advantages. The biggest advantage is you catch more fish. You catch more fish. But the disadvantage is these will stick together a little bit sometime. When they dry out, they'll stick together a little bit sometime. Uh, back in the old days, we'd, we'd count them in the bags, we'd put a little talcum powder in there with them. The talcum powder would keep these things from sticking together. So, but living rubber skirts, old fashioned, yes, tremendous action, oh, you're not believing it. And the fish have not seen that action. The, there's no fish old enough to have seen a red man spinnerbait. They just don't live that long. They just don't live that long. You get into the head. This head is perfectly designed 
to run fast and run up on top of the water. If you'll notice, it's got two bug eyes out the side. That is a 3 8 ounce head. You see these two eyes sticking out on the side? There's a, those are bug eyes. Some people call these bug eyed spinner baits. That's what they call the red man spinner bait. Some people said, oh, that's a bug eyed spinner bait, isn't it? And that's exactly what they look like. It's a bug eyed spinner bait. The heads are painted really, really pretty, you know. Uh, the painters at Lucky Strike Lure Company are the best lure painters in the country, and they made the baits really, really pretty, and no matter what kind of head you're looking at, if you look at them, the baits are all real pretty heads. Doesn't really matter the color. They all make real pretty heads on them, and they're all got red eyes in them. They got those beautiful red eyes in them. When you come up here to the Safety Bend bin, now the spinner baits you see on the market now will either have a U bin or they'll have an R bin. And the reason that those were developed and designed is so if your line, if your line got around that shaft, it would pull right through and it wouldn't even have a chance to get in here and, and damage your line or cut your line. This is a, this is a disadvantage of a red man spinner bait is your line can get around in here. Here is the advantage. You can catch 100, 200 bass on this bait. It's not going to break. It's not going to break. And it's going to have superior vibration. We'll talk to you about the vibration when we get out here to the blade. And I'll tell you exactly why this thing vibrates so much more. You can put it in the water. And you're going to be able to see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. But this, this wrapped bin, this safety pin type bin in here will not break. Will not break. You know, in order to get a lot of vibration out of a spinnerbait, you move to bigger blades or lighter wire or both. When you do that, you put a lot of pressure on those R-bins, a lot of pressure on those, those uh, U-bins, and the baits break very, very quickly. If you've got a bait that's really vibrating a lot with light wire and a heavy, heavy, big, heavy blade, I'm telling you, you may not catch but eight or 10 fish before that bait breaks. You might not catch but eight or 10. Now, that's worth it. You spent five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars for a spinner bait, catch eight or 10 fish, that's pretty good. That's more than you get out of most 10 pack of worms. So that's, that's still pretty good. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm telling you, you can catch a hundred on that one right there and it's not gonna break. So this is an integral part of it. It's also an integral part of the vibration. As we move down, here's something else that you will notice. You see the arm on that spinner bait. This is critical in good spinner bait fishing. This arm is short. You know, spinnerbait arms come clear back to here where they kind of guard that hook, keep that from getting hung up, kind of guard that hook a little bit. With that long arm on a spinnerbait, it does guard the hook and they do hang up a little bit less, but also it acts as a fish guard. Many times a big fish will come up and the top of his lips will hit that wire and he just doesn't shut his mouth. Now you got a wide open area for the fish, no matter how they come up under that bait or whatever, they got a wide open area to get to that hook. So you're gonna hook up way, way, way more fish per strike on this than you will any other spinnerbait made. Any other spinnerbait made. Any other spinnerbait made. But here's the big deal. This is magic. This short shaft vibrates back and forth. When you pull this thing through the water, I want you to pull it through the water, just put it down by your boat, pull it through the water, and you'll see that blade, I mean that wire, just doing this right here. It's going back and forth. You see what I'm doing right there? It's not going up this way. It's going back and forth like that. You'll see that blade just vibrating like that, and you go, wow. You look down on top of it, and you go, wow, 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 look at that. That is a combination of the short arm and this round blade is perfectly suited for this bait. Now, you move on out here. Let's go ahead and look at the blade situation. You have a crane swivel. That's right, a crane swivel. Now, a lot of you are saying, I wouldn't throw a bait if it didn't have a ball bearing swivel on it. Let me tell you this. A crane swivel does not turn nearly, nearly, nearly as well as a ball bearing swivel. No doubt about it. But what crane swivel has to work, it has to work, this blade has to work in order to turn that swivel. And in doing that, it causes that vibration up here, it causes that thing to work back and forth because that blade is working that swivel, working that swivel, working that swivel. That's one of the secrets as to why it catches so many fish. The sound it puts out is totally different than any sound that the bass have heard since the people were throwing red man's spinnerbait years and years and years ago. So the crane swivel is vitally important, vitally important. Split rings. Now, this does not have a real large split ring. A large split ring is, is important. Uh, most of them that come, we get on the market will have a little bit bigger split ring. I want a little bit split, bigger split ring in that. That again, that's part of the equation of the vibration. Now we get down to the blades. We have only round blades on them. Now we'll probably come out with some red man with some willow leaf blades, but all the originals right now have only round blades. No willow leaf blades, no Indiana blades, only round blades because of the vibration, the sound they create. This bait is gonna create a sound that the bass that are swimming around in the lakes that you and I fish have never heard. They've never heard that sound. 
That's why they're going to whack them so doggone good. I've just caught hundreds of fish. We've been playing with this bait for over a year, and I've caught hundreds and hundreds of bass on this, the new Red Man Spinner Bait. But here's a little deal. Let me tell you about that, that, that blade situation. You can actually take that blade, you can take that blade and move up to the next size larger blade. That's right. You hear me talk about that a lot on the Legend Spinner Bait. Take the round blade off of a half ounce Jimmy Houston Legend Spinner Bait by Lucky Strike and put this on here and it'll vibrate even more. It'll vibrate even more, you'll catch even more fish. Now, in doing that, in doing that, that bait might have a tendency to lay over on its side or it might even roll all the way over when you put that larger blade on there. This bait is designed to hold that blade right there, cranked at pretty fast speeds. That's exactly what it's designed for. When you put that larger, next size larger blade up there on it, that once you get off of a, a Jimmy Houston Legends, it's gonna have a tendency to lay on its side a little bit, so you gotta be able to accept that. If you're cranking it really, really fast, it's gonna lay on its side a little bit, it may even loop on you. I don't like for the baits to do that, so it just kinda depends on what you want, but you can get more vibration. If you're catching them on that blade right there with that vibration, you put that other one on here, you're probably gonna catch even larger fish, even larger fish. One of the things that I've noticed about the Red Man Spinner Bay, just like it was doing back when I was in, in college, it catches large fish. It catches larger fish than what most of the other spinner baits catch. A lot of you, a lot of you are going to catch your personal best this year, your personal best fish on a red man spinner bait. I promise you that'll happen. Let me know when it happens because I promise you it's going to happen. I have caught so many big fish on this bait, you just can't imagine. Won so many tournaments on this bait that you just can't imagine. Uh, we put a nice big hook on it, a little long shaft hook on here, so the hook is way back here. You're going to miss very, very few fish. Like I said, that's one of the reasons for the short arm there. Exceptional vibration, an exceptional hook on it, a blade that has to work to make that blade vibrate. The old safety pin spinner, you catch 50, 100, 150, 200 fish on it, still not going to break. A 3 8 ounce head that throws like a bullet. It throws like a bullet. If you will look at it, that's kind of bullet shaped and that, it, that's why it throws so well. And it's like I said, with everything on it, it's about half ounces, so you're throwing quite a bit of weight out there. The Red Man Spinner Bait, bringing that dude back on the market, and I'm telling you, it's gonna become a lot of his favorite spinner bait the very first time you use it. So, you can order them at jimmyhouston.com, you can order them at luckystrike.com. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably have some deals going uh, here pretty quickly on that. We have handmade a lot of them right now. We're hand pouring them and handmade a couple, two or 3,000. We don't have very many, but that is the reason you catch more fish on a Red Man Spinner Bait. The superior vibration, the great blades, the way that it's designed to catch fish with a sound, with a sound and a vibration that the fish alive right now have never ever heard. I'm gonna, if you, when you buy this bait, if you've never thrown a spinner bait, you can just read what I wrote on the back of the package. You can just read what I wrote on the back of the package and you can go out and take this fish out and catch fish on it the very first time you use them. This is the lure. This is the lure that has turned beginning anglers into real experts. Yes. When fished properly, the results will literally amaze you. The Red Man Spinnerbait is designed for the revolutionary new twist in spinnerbait fishing. With it, we have won tournament after tournament after tournament. The secret is to fish the spinnerbait very fast on or very near the surface of the water. You've heard me say many, many times, a good depth of fish is just before your bait goes out of sight or just after it goes out of sight. The Red Man Spinnerbait is made to fish from very, very close to the surface. Right on top of the water so that leaves a small wake, a little ripple. Ripple the bait along the top of the water so that leaves a small way can fish around logs, brush piles, willows, stumps, etc. In other words, any place a bass can hide in shallow water. Remember, the faster you pull the red man spinnerbait through the water, the better. Bass do not strike the red man spinnerbait. They literally attack it. <laughs> they attack it. Many times you'll catch a five or six pounder right on the end of your rod, and it'll nearly pull you in the lake. It's without a doubt the most exciting lure I have ever fished. You will actually see the bass come up and get the red man spinnerbait off the top of the water. Use a nickel bait in clear water and a gold blade in murky or muddy water. Change colors of lures until you find the color 
the bass are attacking best for that particular day. Good, good fishing. Get ready for a thrill of a lifetime. And uh, I mentioned that we have copper blades as well as, and I caught so many fish on copper blades. There's a lot of fish that have never seen a copper blade in their lifetime. Never seen one. When you throw a copper blade out there, they're gonna go, whoa, what's that? I better attack it, I better attack it. Guys and girls, the Red Man Spinnerbait, we've worked really hard for the last couple of years to get these back on the market. We got them out there now, and I know one thing, it's gonna make a lot of fish very, very happy. Guys and girls, have you fun spinnerbait fishing out there, and remember, I sure do love you.